This senseless tragedy has drawn a community, even a city together. We will unite our hearts as one and look forward to a future where there is unanimous ag agreement that what we are experiencing here tonight is not acceptable. We will not be silent and allow evil to take over our city. We will stand up as one and take a hold of what is right. So friends, continue to love Andrea's family. Continue to be there for them in very practical ways. They will need you. Well, uh, I don't think violence is the answer to anything. And um, my daughter did not deserve this. She's, you know, I, I, I don't even know how to put it into words, but I just, all I can say is that the violence needs to stop. There's there are people that they hurt. They have other people that suffer from everything, not just the person that they're, they're doing this horrendous injustice to people's families. I mean, it's not fair. I mean, my daughter never did anything to anybody. And to take her life this short, it's, it's not fair. It's, this is not fair. Um, I know that, that well, to be honest with you, I'm very angry with um, those boys. I mean, one of them had a, a, a career going in basketball and I, I can't, I want the questions answered why. Like, why would you just ruin your whole life to do something like this and take away a life of somebody so innocent like my daughter? Like, I, I don't understand why. And I'd like those questions answered and the, and the police are the only ones who could answer that for me in the investigation. The families of those children that are also in jail, I feel for the mothers too. I mean, I can't be selfish in, in all my grieving and stuff as far as that goes because there's also mothers that that um, are dealing with their sons and what they've done. So use them to the best of your abilities to make sure this family has the support system they need to move forward. And above all, love each other. If anything good comes out of this senseless act, it is my hope that it unites us all to love each other. Don't allow this family to be in isolation as they heal from their wounds. Hiding when you're hurting won't heal you and growing isolated can just let infection grow. The secret way to heal a broken heart is to let love leak out like an ocean through all the cracks. And the best way to tend to your open wounds is to open your arms, just as you're all doing tonight.